Hello children, I hope you are feeling happy and strong today. I welcome you to the special English hour. Today we will sing, dance and listen to stories. Are you ready to have some fun? Come closer to the TV and join me in a fun song. Dance around the sea, but how do they dance? Come on, let's see. Right flipper, left flipper, make them up and down. One, two, three, and four. Three little penguins dance around the sea, but how do they dance? Come on, let's see. Right flipper, left flipper, right leg. Left leg. One, two, three, and four. Pretty little penguins dance around the sea. But how do they dance? Come on, let's see. Don't forget to nod your head. I hope you enjoyed singing and dancing with me. Now we will be learning about plants. Can you see this picture? What do you think it is? Correct. It is a plant. Can you tell me which are the things that a plant need? To grow? Correct. Plants need sunlight, water, air and food to grow. Do you see roots? What do you think roots do for the plant? Yes. Roots take water from the soil and spread it to the other parts of the plant. Children, can you tell me what are the things that we get from the plant? Yes, we get fruits, fiber, shelter and medicines from plants. We also get oxygen from the plant that helps us to breathe. Now, did you understand the importance of plants? Yes, plants are very, very important. How can we protect the plants in our surrounding? Yes, we can protect the plants in our surrounding by watering them and giving them proper sunlight. We should also plant more trees in our surrounding. This way we can help ourselves as well as our environment. Children, let's have a look at few new words. The first word is 
S E E D S seeds 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 farmers sow seeds in the farm there are seeds in fruits the second word is s h o w e r shower 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 last night there was heavy shower trees get water through the shower the third word is w e e d s weeds 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 the garden is full of weeds the farmer grows wheat in the farm the fourth word is p r e t t y pretty 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 the girl is pretty those dresses are pretty the fifth word is w a i t i n g waiting 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 the man is waiting at the bus stop i was waiting for my mother near the school let's revise these words once again the first word is seeds the second word is shower the third word is weeds the fourth word is pretty and the fifth word is waiting now it's textbook time please open your bal bharti book to page number 42 we are going to read the poem five little seeds You may point your fingers to the words as I read it for you. And if you do not have a textbook, you may listen to me carefully. Let's get started. Children, let's read the poem Five Little Seeds. Five little seeds. Five little seeds three will make flowers and two will make weeds under the leaves under the snow five little seeds are waiting to grow out comes the sun down comes a shower and up come the tree pretty pink flowers out comes the sun that every 
plant needs and up come two funny old weeds now let's sing this poem five little seeds five little seeds three will make flowers and two will make weeds under the leaves under the snow five little seeds are waiting to grow out comes the sun down comes the shower and up come the three pretty pink flowers out comes the sun that every plant needs and up come two funny old weeds children since you got the tune let's sing it together five little seeds five little seeds three will make flowers and two will make weeds under the leaves under the snow five little seeds are waiting to grow out comes the sun down comes the shower and up come the three pretty pink flowers out comes the sun that every plant needs and up come two funny old weeds thank you for listening to me in this poem we saw that the poet says five little seeds are sown in the ground out of which three seeds will make flowers and the other two seeds will make weeds the poet also mentions that the seeds will need sunlight to grow into a plant i hope you liked the poem children now it's time for a fun activity do you see this plant we will try to name the different parts of the plant with the help of these words let's start do you see this what do you think it is let's try to search the name of this part in the words that are given here flower this is a flower f l o w e r flower now children do you see this what do you think it is correct it is a bud b u d bud now let's find out what is this part of a plant called it is called a leaf l e a f leaf children do you see this what do you think it is called let's search it here in this block of words this is called seeds let's write it down s e e 
D S seeds children do you see this thing can you guess what is it called let's find the word here yes this is called fruit let's write it down f r u i t fruit children let's guess which is this part of the plant can you tell me what it is called it is called a stem s t e m stem this part of a plant is called stem now let us see what is this thing called can you guess correct this part of a plant is called a root let's write it down r o o t root now it's time for another fun activity you will be making few meaningful words with double e's in it for example s e e d seed children do you see this picture of letters there are letters in blue letters in green and double e's in the middle you have to start your word with the letters in blue and end the word with the letters in green let's start the activity now let's start making meaningful words out of these letters f e e l feel f e e t feet s e e k seek s e e n seen p e e p peep j e e p jeep k e e p keep k e e n keen w e e p weep w e e d weed w e e k week i hope you had fun making few words now it's time for another fun activity children you will be shown few dialogues on your screen and you have to complete the dialogues let's have a look at the first conversation children do you see the first conversation there is a blank and the reply is good morning amay do you see the two options that are there the first option says come in raj and the second option says good morning teacher what do you think which option is appropriate to fit in the conversation 
correct. We will complete the conversation with good morning teacher. The second conversation says I, I stood first in my class and there is a blank. How will we fill the blank? Which option do you think is correct? The first option says I am proud of you my son. And the second option says we will go out. What do you think? Which option is appropriate? Correct. Option A is appropriate to fit in the conversation. Let's have a look at the third conversation. Children, this conversation starts with Papa, I won the match. And then there is a blank after that. What do you think? Which option would be appropriate to fit in this conversation? Option A says congratulations. And option B says good morning. What do you think? Which option is appropriate? Correct. Option A congratulations will fit into this conversation. This conversation starts with Thank you, Grandpa, for telling me interesting stories. And then there is a blank after that. Option A says, You are most welcome. And option B says, Let's play, Granny. What do you think? Which option would fit into this conversation? Correct. Option A. You are most welcome. Let's see the last conversation. This conversation starts with You cannot park your car here. And then there is a blank. Option A says We will meet on Sunday. And option B says, I am sorry, sir. What do you think? Which is the correct option that would fit into this conversation? Yes, option B. I am sorry, sir. I hope you all enjoyed this activity. It's now time for a fun activity. Children, when you want to plant a rose plant, what are the steps that you do? You will have to do it along with me. The first step is, what am I doing? I am digging the soil. The second step is, what do you think I am doing? I am sowing the seeds. Now, the third step is, what do you think I am doing? Correct. I am watering the plant. Now, what do you think is the fourth step? What do you think happens? Correct. The flowers bloom. The steps were digging the soil, sowing seeds, watering the plant and the flowers bloom. I hope you had fun guessing the actions that I just did. Today we learned a wonderful poem, Five Little Seeds. Try to read it again 
from your textbook a few more times and with the help of your family and friends try to write two uses of plant in your notebook i will see you in the next session until then take care stay safe and bye bye